Emily was thrilled when she got accepted into her dream college. The campus was beautiful, the classes were engaging, and she had her own room in the college hostel, leaving Emily with an entire room to herself. At first, she didn't mind. But as the days turned into weeks, strange things started happening. One night, as Emily was studying late, she heard a faint whisper. She paused, straining to listen, but the sound disappeared. Shaking it off as her imagination, she returned to her books. But the whispering grew more frequent. It always seemed to come from the empty bed across the room. Emily tried to ignore it, but she couldn't shake the feeling that someone or something was in the room with her. So you want to start faceless YouTube automation? Right. But will you believe me if I tell you that the video you just watched was created entirely using free AI tools? Hmm. Maybe you're skeptical, but trust me, my friend. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step exactly how I did it and how you can too. There are only a few channels working in this niche on YouTube and they create quite simple videos, yet they have millions of subscribers and views. This is because the competition in this niche is very low. I'm going to explain everything step-by-step, step, how to write an engaging script, how to generate high quality images for free, how to convert those images into a realistic video, how to generate a voiceover, and finally, how to edit everything together to create a viral video. Sounds amazing, right? So don't skip any part of the video and try to watch it till the end. Let's get started. Step one, generate a horror story. To generate a story, we will use ChatGPT. I will give ChatGPT the first prompt. I want 20 horror stories to create a YouTube video. Within seconds, ChatGPT will provide us with 20 video ideas. Now, you can generate stories based on these ideas. However, if you suddenly think of a new story idea, you can ask ChatGPT about it. For example, I asked, I need a new horror story of a girl who is living alone in a college hostel. And within seconds, ChatGPT generated a long story for me. After the story is generated, read it carefully to see if it has been generated correctly or not. If it has been generated correctly, then you can confirm it. All right, so I think this story is perfect. Now we need to write another prompt. I want the perfect prompt to image each scene, ensuring the prompt includes the type of story that is horror, spooky, haunted tales. Hit enter. Within a second, ChatGPT will provide us with image prompts for each scene. Now we can move on to step two. Step two, text to image. Simply go to Leonardo AI. You can find the link in the description below. Sign up and you'll get enough credits per day to use it for free without any watermarks. After signing up, go to image creation. Follow my settings exactly as I do. The most important thing is to keep the fixed seed on so you can generate consistent characters. All right, next, I'll copy the prompt for the first scene and paste it here, then hit generate. By the way, I recommend you try Leonardo AI's paid plan at least once. It allows you to generate more images at a time and provides higher quality images. But I'm not forcing you, it's up to you. All right, you can see that we have generated four images. Notice how all the characters are consistent. All right, I'll simply download these images. Now you need to generate images for the second prompt in the same way. I'll fast forward this part because it's a time consuming process. Perfect, all our images are now generated and I have also downloaded all of these. Step three, image to video. Now in step three, we need to convert these images into a video. For this, we'll use another free AI tool called LumaLabs AI. Simply sign up, then upload the generated images here. You can add any prompt you like, just as I'm doing. Similarly, upload the second image and add some more prompts. Continue this process for all the images and convert them into a video. Converting images into a video might take some time because of the tool's high demand. They prioritize paid users, so it can sometimes take five to 10 minutes. All right. After spending almost an hour, I finally converted all the images into a video. You can see that the video quality is really good. I have also downloaded all of these. Okay, our third step is also complete. Now in step four, we need to generate the voiceover. We'll use 11 labs for this, which is also free. The link is in the description. Sign up, then go to voices and click on add a new voice. Next, go to the voice library and find the perfect voice style according to your content. There are many voices available. Make sure to choose one that has a spooky feel. I found a male voice that fits well, so I'll add this voice. All right, simply paste script here, then choose voice and hit generate speech. The voice is generated and now I'll download it. All right. Step five, video editing. 
Video editing is the most crucial step in this tutorial. Some people struggle here after all the hard work, so don't skip this part and watch carefully. All right, we'll use CapCut for video editing. Open CapCut, and first I'll quickly import all the videos and the voiceover. All right, then I'll add the voiceover to the timeline. Next, I'll adjust the voice according to my preference and cut out any unwanted parts. Perfect. Then, I want to add a horror background audio. Go to Audio, and you'll find a complete library of audio files. Simply search for Horror, and you'll get thousands of horror audio tracks. Play and listen to them, then add the one you like to the timeline. Next, I'll decrease the volume of the background music, and keep it only up to a certain point, cutting out the rest of the part. Okay, then I'll add a fade-out effect to the audio, so it doesn't stop abruptly. All right, then I'll add another piece of music, lower its volume, and keep it only up to a certain point, again cutting out the rest apart. Perfect! In this way, I'll add different types of horror music to make the video feel more eerie. Alright, don't get confused. You can add just one background music track if you want. I'm doing this to make the video more engaging. Alright. After this, I'll add all the videos to the timeline one by one. Keep in mind, don't add videos randomly. First, listen to the story carefully. Understand it, and then add visuals according to the story. Perfect. Now I've matched some videos with the voiceover very well. After this, you need to find scenes in the voiceover where you can add sound effects and some spooky audio. Let me explain how to do this. Listen carefully. But the whispering grew more frequent. It always seemed to come from the empty bed across the room. Emily... You heard the whisper in the voiceover, right? So I'll find a whisper audio clip on the audio library. And add it right below the corresponding part. All right. I hope you understand. Similarly, guys, you need to add the rest of the visuals to the timeline and match them well with audio and sound effects. CapCut has an easy to use sound effect library. Simply search for the sound effect and add it. I've added sound effects like door opening, whispering, surprised horror sound, and, and crying sound effects. You might find the timeline looking a bit complex, but it's not that hard. All right, next I'll add transitions to some clips at the beginning. I'll apply transitions only to the first two clips. Personally, I don't use many transitions. This much is enough. You can also try adding effects to give the video a spooky feel. But again, as I mentioned, I'm not a big fan of using too many effects and transitions. The background audio and sound effects already make the video feel quite creepy. The more you play with sound effects, the better results you'll get, guys. All right, video editing is complete, but you might notice that there is a Luma AI watermark here. To remove it, select all the clips together, then scale them from here. Now the watermark won't be visible. When the entire editing is complete, go to the text and generate auto captions from here. In just a few seconds, captions will be added to the video. You can choose any style you prefer, but I will keep it red because it will give a spooky feel to the video. All right, so this completes our video editing process. And remember, this is just a 50 second video we made. The process for creating a longer video is the same. After this, I'll simply export the video. Perfect. So this was the complete tutorial on how you can start YouTube automation using free AI tools. Trust me, my friend, if you seriously follow these steps, you'll definitely be able to create a great video. It doesn't matter how much time it takes in the beginning, but as you invest more time, you'll be able to create videos more quickly. All right, consider this a small motivation for you all. If you found this video helpful, please like it, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.